It's 624 here on this Thursday morning. We are expecting more snow tonight, but how are the snow totals looking this morning? Yeah, we still need it up there in the mountains. And here's Lauren Brand to give us an update on our state's snowpack. Well, good morning, Alan and Breeze. So we started off very warm for February and our snowpack took quite the hit. And just last week we were sitting at 84% for that statewide snowpack. But now just a week later, we have had a few parades of storms come through and we're now bumped up to 94% for that statewide snowpack. So here's a look at that map view and you can notice that northern portion of the Centennial State got the biggest impacts in terms of where we saw the biggest um, snowpack report. So South Platte sitting at 108%. So 100% being right at that average, right where we should be this time of year. Now Southern Colorado not seeing quite as much of a jump, but we still saw those numbers increase. So we saw some 60% down there just last week. So they got a little bit of a jump as well. So looking ahead, we have the potential to see again that northern portion of the state have an increase in that, those snow totals. So 7.1 inches potentially for Winter Park. Six point one up towards steamboat. So we'll see how this plays out. But the Climate Prediction Center also released their precipitation outlook for the end of February and early on in March. So as we zoom in here, we have the potential to have the Arkansas River Basin see a little bit of a jump in terms of our snowpack. So we are going to potentially get lucky and see a little bit of an increase with our snowpack. So not all hope is lost with the Arkansas River Basin. Bree.